Hello and welcome everybody to this hopefully very short tutorial on not Eclipse and not Dropbox either, but a combination of the two, namely that you can synchronize your uh, saved files from your Dropbox projects um, with a, another computer, like in my case I had the problem that um, I, I, when I work with Eclipse um, I usually want to, uh, like you can see here, I already have um, some some files um, that I've already made. I've made a, this is just a test project, and when you have these files, you want to be able to save them somewhere. And right now, I'm on my stationery. I don't know if you can see it. It has a pretty lot, pretty. Uh, a lot of uh, gigabytes <laughs> because it's my stationery. Um, but of course, yeah, I don't know why I can't uh, stop. Uh, why why I show you this? Uh, yeah, never mind. So like the point is that while I'm working on my stationery, I want to be able to save all these files to a shared location, um, which in my case is Dropbox. Um, now. I don't know if you know how to download Eclipse. You probably do, but I'm just going to show you that fast. You do just like that, and you need a, you need a Java development kit as well. You download that from the Oracle site right here. Just click this button, um, and what was it else? Yeah, Dropbox. Um, let's just show you that too, just so you know. But I'm sure you know all of these things. I just want to make sure. Oh yeah, okay. Actually, you don't. I don't know. Are you supposed to see this? Um, yeah, this actually, there's no sensitive information on here, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, I, I, I suppose that you know all of those things already. Um, now, what you may not know, or I what what I didn't know, because I was typing like a maniac here on YouTube, I was typing Eclipse Dropbox, um, uh, like, and, and I never found anything, uh, only freaking host a private Git repository and, and stuff like that. I didn't found a solution. To, I didn't find a solution to my problem, and my problem, in short, was that I wanted you remember a place where I could store my files uh, from my stationery onto Dropbox, and then from my laptop access uh, the same files that I've been working on here, and then access these files from my laptop when my sh stationery sh uh, is shut down. Um, now, obviously, because when I'm at the academy where I uh, where I study computer science, I want to be able to to access these files too, as well as when I'm working from at home. Now, how did I do that? Well, you see this Dropbox hovering over here. Um, I have a Dropbox folder here. I can show you the direct location, uh, which is C, my C drive, and users in my name. I got my Dropbox folder here. I got the name of my computer science education here, and then I have a folder here that's called Programming Eclipse. It's in Danish because I'm Danish. Um, and as you see here, here I used to have not these files, but I used to have uh, my workspace, which I believe before I had my workspace in Documents, and I had them right here. No, not right there. I had them here. Uh, these are my previous files, and um, I have my workspace, uh, w w which means that I had my workspace uh, separately from the Dropbox uh, folder, and then I moved my workspace to this folder, which is my Dropbox folder, and then I was hoping that that would be able to solve the problem. That would be able to synchronize both from my laptop and from my stationery. Not at the same time, not uh, simultaneously, but um, well, like when when one of the computers is shut down, I can work on the other one and vice versa. And then I, they will always be accessible in here. But there was a problem, however, with the um, with the lock file. In here, that that can synchronize, uh, and see right now that it's actually doing some weird stuff too. But but in the end, this was able to synchronize too. So this was not the problem uh, anyway. Um, what was an even bigger problem, however, was that apparently these uh, these workspace files couldn't synchronize after all because I got an error message 
one day that looked like this. Cannot determine URI for my, the classes that I wrote at school, and when I got home I got this error message. Uh, so there was apparently something wrong with my workspace, which was um, in, in, in this file after all. And then, and then a very kind soul from my uh, education um, came with a suggestion, why don't you just put the installation file that you've downloaded from the from the Eclipse uh, site right here. Uh, why don't you just put like you know the just for the dummies of you d download there. I, I, the dummies of you. There's no dummies of you out there. I know that uh, you're probably all smarter than me. I know, but um, I, I, I'm just making this freaking video because I couldn't find a video on it. And you know, it's like they say: if you, if you don't, if 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 nobody's done it, you have to do it on yourself, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. But back to back to the main business. Where was I again? Yeah, I was right here. Um, so yeah, we have this installation file from Eclipse. And then I extracted it and got all these files in here. This we're still in the Dropbox file. That's why they're all marked with green here. And <clears throat> then uh, I have it all now. I have it all in this uh, Dropbox folder. Um, both like the, like the installation files quotation marks because Clips doesn't needs to doesn't actually need to be installed. Um, it just needs to be unzipped and the files uh, that the program Eclipse needs to start will be accessible in this folder. And since this is on Dropbox, this folder is accessible both from my laptop and from my stationery so that these files here and this code that I'm writing will be accessible from both my stationery and my laptop. Kablam! And that not that just sweet? Um, I think it's a pretty sweet little thing. The only problem, of course, is that while you're working on your project, uh, on your project, uh, this Dropbox will constantly synchronize uh, because e Eclipse is built in this way that it it constantly is changing some kind of files. You see here, Workbench XMI uh, two minutes ago, Tasks XML. It's especially the XML file that was the problem, I think, because there was like when when I when I had only the workspace in here, um, the XML file was, uh, was, was like, I had two XML files, one on my stationery and one on my uh, laptop, but now I have only one XML file. I think it's actually this one. This is the XML file. I uh, could be wrong though. Please uh, notify me if I'm wrong. Um, but um, yeah, now it seems to work perfectly fine, and it's still it's still um, not synchronized because I'm still working the project. So if I close this uh, eclipse, then it should only take five or, or five to ten seconds, and then it will be all synchronized, yeah, like that, up to date, and then my files will be perfectly stored, um, perfectly stored and accessible from both this, my stationery and my laptop. Uh, I hope this video didn't bother you too much because I really try to do it as short as possible but I'm not used to doing tutorials so I usually get distracted and carried away a lot. Um, but uh, I only did this video just because I couldn't find anything to, like see look at these videos man uh, Proyecto Intadagro freaking Spanish man there's no English videos on this and if any um, people are watching this then and if you can do this tutorial better please um, make a tutorial on this that's really short because I'm sure you can do it because I'm not the best at it so uh, I'm gonna end this uh, right here um, with the words. Yeah, I'm just gonna end it right here because I'm running out of words. So peace out, guys. Troy Church signing off. Keep keep life balanced.